what is the value of x given that you have x to the power of 6 equals 4 to the power of 6 then let's have it to be solution let's recall from the law of indices that when we have a to the power of m to be equals b to the power of m so this implies that a equals b so likewise since we have the power to be the same we have x to the power of 6 equals 4 to the power of 6 this also implies that x equals 4 then x equals 4 is the first solution for this problem but i must tell you that it's not the only solution for the problem given to us then let's see how to solve it now recall that we can have this power 6 to be equals 3 times 2 so this implies from here we are going to have x to the power of 3 times 2 equals 4 to the power of 3 times 2 it is believed that 3 times 2 will give us 6 once again recall when we have a to the power of m times n this can be simplified as a to the power of n as this n to the power of n so from here we are going to have this to be x to the power of 3 in parentheses to the power of 2 equals 4 to the power of 3 then to the power of 2 then let's transfer the whole of this time to here then we should set everything to be equal 0 so here will be x to the power of 3 in parentheses to the power of 2 minus 4 to the power of 3 in parentheses to the power of 2 equals 0 now this one half power 2 this one has power 2 is a difference of 2 square that says when we have a square minus b square equals as a plus b then multiply by a minus b then everything must be in parentheses so definitely we are going to have from here x to the power of 3 plus 4 to the power of 3 because when we equate this expression with this one we are going to have our a to be equals x to the power of 3 then our b to be equals 4 to the power of 3 so definitely from here here will be x to the power of 3 minus 4 to the power of 3 we have to set it to be equal 0 from here now when we are saying this expression is equal to 0 from here is either we have x to the power of 3 plus 4 to the power of 3 equals 0 or we have this x to the power of 3 minus 4 to the power of 3 equals 0 one of the expression must be equal to 0 for the whole of this term to be equal to 0 now let's pick them one after the other let's say we have case 1 when we have case 1 as we have it here to be x to the power of 3 plus 4 to the power of 3 equals 0 then once again we have to recall that when we have a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3 always equals as when we have a plus b then multiply by a square minus a b plus b square so this one equals to this meaning that when we equate this one we are going to have our a to be equals x then our b to be equals 4 so from here we are going to have it to be x plus 4 then here will be x square here is a square will be x square minus b is 4 here will be 4x then here will be plus 4 square equals 0 then once again we have x plus 4 multiplied by x square minus 4x 
plus 16 equals 0. Now, you see that we have x plus 4 equals 0, or we have x squared minus 4x plus 16 equals 0. So from here we have x to be equals minus 4. And likewise from here too, we are going to have, by applying this method, x squared minus 4x, taking this one to here, we have minus 16. To make this one to be perfect, so here we can be x square minus 4x then half of this square it had it to both sides will be 4 here will be minus 16 plus 4 so this will be x minus 2 and parentheses to the power of 2 we give us this one equals minus 16 plus 4 this will be minus 12 to eliminate this one, let's take the square of both sides. So therefore, here will be roots x minus 2 in parentheses to the power of 2 equals positive or negative root of minus 12. So this, we cancel out this. We have x minus 2 equals positive or negative root of 12 times root of minus 1. But let us note that we can have 12 to be equals 4 times 3. So from here, we have x minus 2 equals positive or negative root of 4 times 3. Then root of minus 1 equals i in a complex space. So this will be multiplied by i. So from here we have x minus 2 equals positive or negative root 4 give us 2 multiply by root 3 high. So now taking this one to here we have x this will be plus 2 positive or negative 2 multiply by root 3 i. So we can have it as 2 into 1 plus root 3i this note that we also have x to be equals minus 4 this will be the second resolution for the previous one that we got why this is a complex solution then let's go with case 2 we have x to the power of 3 minus 4 to the power of 3 to be equal to 0. But we have to recall that when we have a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3 equals as a a minus b a minus b here then multiply by again a square plus a b plus b square so therefore, when we make the comparison, our a will be x, then our b will be equals 4. Let's substitute it here. We are going to have x minus 4 multiplied by x squared from here plus 4x plus 4 squared as this equals 0. Then, we have x minus 4. From here will be x squared plus 4x. 4 squared will be 16 equals 0. For this expression to be equal 0, you see that we have x minus 4 equals 0. And we have x squared plus 4x plus 16 equals 0. So from here we have x to be equals 4. Then from here, 
let's solve this as x square plus 4x to be equals minus 16. Then, to make this to be perfect square, we take the half of the coefficient of x, which is 4, then square it, then it will give us 4. Here will be x square plus 4x plus 4 equals minus 16 plus 4. So from here we have x square plus 4x plus 4 equals this will give us minus 12. Now, this the word of this term here will give us x plus 2 in parentheses to the power of 2 will be equals minus 12. So, to eliminate this, let's take the square root of both sides. Here will be And this, we cancel out this, we have x plus 2 equals positive or negative root 12 multiplied by root of minus 1. So from here, we have x plus 2 equals positive or negative root 4 times 3 times root of minus 1 will give us i. We have x plus 2 equals positive or negative. Root 4 will be 2 multiplied by root 3 i. Then taking this one to here, we have x 2. This will be minus 2 positive or negative 2 root 3 i. So from here, you can have this as x equals 2 into minus 1, positive or negative, root 3i. So, this is the complex solution for the problem again, where we also have the real solution again to be equals 4. So, let's verify. So to verify, we have x to be equals 4, x to be equals minus 4, we have x to be equals 2, positive or negative 2, root 3i, we also have x to be equals minus 2, positive or negative 2, root 3i. Why these are complex solutions and these are the good solution. So recall that we have x to the power of 6 equals 4 to the power of 6. Definitely this we satisfy by having 4 to the power of 6 equals 4 to the power of 6. When s equals 4. When s also equals minus 4, here will be minus 4 in parentheses to the power of 6, then it's going to give us 4 to the power of 6. Anytime you have negative value in parentheses to the power of even, even number, this will give you the positive one back to the power of even number. So in the case of minus 4, the deputy here will be 1 times 4 in parentheses to the power of 6, which equals 4 to the power of 6. So from here, 4 to the power of 6 equals 4 to the power of 6. And this satisfied.